All right, guys. So this video is going to focus on how do we find the exact value of a logarithm without using a calculator. So we're not going to use a calculator for any one of these. What we're going to use is we're going to use our two little log properties right over here. So these are some of the most common uh, equations used in logs. So you can see I have five examples over here on the left hand side of the screen. The way that the log uh, exa or the way that these examples are set up is they are set up in the logarithmic form, this top equation right over here. We have a log of a base of x. And what we're trying to figure out is what we're trying to figure out what is the y? What are they equal to? And a way to do that is to kind of think of this in reverse. So these two equations here are equal to each other. Y is equal to log base B of X is the same thing of B to the Y is equal to X. So if you're somewhat familiar with logs, you would have already seen these equations before. If you're not familiar with logs, this is the way that these work. So in order to go back and forth to these equations, what we're thinking in our head is we want to change, interchange this top one for this bottom one, and we're specifically looking for Y. So what we're thinking in our head is the B, which is your base, B to what power is equal to your X. So the way that that works in example two is this is saying two to what power, so two to what power, this Y, is equal to the 256. So that's how that correlates, okay? So you take your base to what power is equal to this x here is the question in your head that you need to answer. So 2 to what power is equal to 256? Well, it's actually 2 to the 8th power is going to equal 256. So what that means then, that means that y is equal to 8. So 2 to the 8th power is equal to 256. So for example, uh, A, we have that Y is equal to 8. So the way that, that works with example B then, so you start with your base. So 8 to what power is equal to 2 is what we need to figure out. So 8 to what power is equal to 2? So um, one thing that you need to notice about powers and exponents is we're starting with an 8. We want it to equal 2. So 8 to the first power is 8. 8 to the second power is 64. If we raise it to the third power, it's going to be even higher here. So the bigger the number, uh, the bigger the exponent, the bigger the number that it's going to equal. Well, we don't want a big number. We need a small number. So the way that you convert it into a smaller number is you need to think about numbers smaller than 1. Now, numbers smaller than 1, if we go 8 to the 0, anything to the 0 power is 1. That's a little too small. So what that tells me is my exponent needs to be somewhere between 0 and 1. So if we're going between somewhere in 0 and 1, we're talking about like a half, a third, a fourth, that kind of thing. But one thing that I do know about the numbers 8 and 2 is the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. If you do 2 times 2 times 2, that equals to 8. So the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. I do know that. And remember that the cube root of 8 is the same thing as taking 8 and raising it to the 1 third power. Raising it to the one-third power is the same thing as taking the square root, I mean the cube root of it. So since I know that 2 is the cube root of 8, what that's going to tell me then is I know that 8 raised to the one-third power is going to equal 2. What that then tells me is that y has to equal to one-third in order for this to be true. It's the only power you can raise 8 to to get a 2 here. So 8 raised to the 1 third power is equal to 2 is how that one works there. So you might have to do a little finagling. You have to do a little bit of messing around with numbers to get some of these.
but they are much very doable here. So if we take a look at example C, so log base 4 of 1 over 16, turning that into exponential form, that gives us 4 to the y is equal to 1 over 16. So we see once again here, we are starting with a base 4, and we want it to equal 1 over 16. So once again, we want it to equal something that is smaller than it. So I'm not going to be looking for positive numbers, because once again, we know 4 to the first is equal to 4. 4 to the second is equal to 16. 4 to the third is equal to 64. So they're just going to get bigger, bigger, and bigger. We also know that 4 to the 0 is equal to 1. 4 to the 0 is equal to 1, and that's still too big for the 1 16. So if 0 exponent is too big, that means we need to be looking into negative exponents. So 4 to what power is 1 over 16? So let's try 4 to the negative 1. Remember your negative exponent rule it tells you to take 1 and put it over that base, but to a positive power. So you essentially shift this down, make it positive. So this gives us 1 over 4. Not quite yet. So let's see what happens if we do 4 to the negative 2. So that means you do 4, I mean you do 1 over 4 to a positive 2, which is equal to 1 over 16 when you square that 4. That is exactly what we're looking for. We're looking to get 1 over 16. We had to raise 4 to the negative 2 power in order to do so. So that tells us that 4 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 16 for this one here. Okay, so that means for this one here, that means that y is equal to negative 2. Okay. Example D, log base 5 of 1 is equal to what? Switching that to exponential form, we take the 5, the base, we're raising it to y in order to get it to equal to 1. So 5 to the what power is equal to 1? Well, we kind of almost had the answer on the screen just a little bit ago when we were talking about 4 to the 0 power. Anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. 4 to the 0 is equal to 1. 10 to the 0 is equal to 1. It doesn't matter what your base is. If you raise it to the 0 power, you're going to get 1. So if we have 5 to the y is equal to 1, what we can say is, hey, 5 to the 0 power is going to equal 1 because anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. So that tells us that y has to be 0 if we need it to equal to 1. Our last example, example E, we have log base 2 of 2 to the 8th is equal to what? So switching that to exponential form, we start with the 2. 2 to the y is equal to this x, which is 2 to the 8th. All right, so 2 to what is equal 2 to the 8th? All right, so if we take a look at this problem here, we have 2 to the y is equal to 2 to the 8th. So this one here, I think, is actually probably one of the easiest problems that we have on the, on the screen here. So 2 to what is equal 2 to the 8th? Well, if we want it to equal 2 to the 8th, and we have 2 to y, we really just need to make this y into an 8. 2 to the 8th is equal to 2 to the 8th. If the bases are the same, the exponents are then the same. So that means y has to be an 8. That way we have 2 to the 8th is equal to 2 to the 8th. Otherwise, that's how you find the exact values of logarithms without using the calculator. Again, be very, very familiar with these two equations here. They're going to help you a lot when it comes to logs. Otherwise, that's it for this video.